Hey now, I'm Michael Nathanson. And I'm Dan Nathanson with the Nathanson Brothers Real Estate Team, your South Florida real estate resource. You are watching South Florida Real Estate Resource.tv. So thanks so much for visiting our video blog. Today we're going to give you a quick update on how you can save money on your real estate property taxes. <laughs> Well, it's that time of the year again. Yep, uh, property tax time. If you haven't already, you should be getting your property tax bill in the mail shortly. And we wanted to talk about a couple of different ways to save some money when it comes to paying taxes on your primary residence. Well, first things first, if you haven't already, we highly recommend that you file for homestead exemption. Right. For those watching who aren't familiar with it, what's a homestead exemption? Good question. The state of Florida grants a standard $25,000 exemption on the assessed value of one's primary, a primary residence. And there's an additional exemption up to another $25,000 that may also apply. Right, so a homestead exemption is granted to permanent Florida residents only. You must own the property and it must be your permanent or mm -hmm. primary residence on January 1st in order to qualify. And, and the state defines a permanent or primary residence as the address on your voter registration, your driver's license, your car registration, your income tax return, that kind of thing. And a quick note, if you or your spouse are getting a residence-based exemption or benefit in another county, state, mm -hmm. or country, then unfortunately you're not eligible for a homestead exemption in Florida. So how does someone actually file for or apply for their homestead exemption? It's a good question, Dan. You can either go to the state or appropriate county property appraiser's website and search until you find either the e-file link or the link to download mm -hmm. the application, or you can reach out to us. It would be our pleasure to get it to you directly. Yeah, we'd love to do that. And we haven't even mentioned yet the Save Our Homes part of the homestead exemption. So after the first year that the home gets a homestead exemption and the property appraiser assesses what they call the just or fair market value, uh, the assessment for each following year can't increase more than 3% or the percentage change in the consumer price index, whichever is lower. So how does all this play out in real life? Good question. Let's say that your property is worth about $300,000. And let's assume that the millage is 7 mills for county schools and 11 mills for all non-school taxes combined. And you can see on the screen how that works. Taxable value is the assessed value minus any exemptions. Then you multiply that by the millage rate to get the amount of taxes that you pay. In your first year of exemption, that would mean an extra savings of $725 in your pocket. That's just for filing a paper? Just for a paper. Imagine what you could do with an extra $725 yeah. in your pocket. A trip to Disney, the Bahamas, no, apply it towards your mortgage, invest in mm -hmm. That's just the first year. As time passes, the Save Our Homes part of the homestead exemption will save you even more money, and you only have to file it once. Right, just once. And there are other exemptions available too, right? Right, there's an exemption for active duty military and veterans widows and widowers, people over 65 years old with limited income, people with disabilities, surviving spouses of active duty, mil duty military, and first responders who died in the line of duty. Talk about a mouthful. There's a lot of exemptions. And there are a number of, uh, of exemptions available to qualified people. And your homestead exemption can even, even transfer all or a portion of it to your next homestead property. Right. Thanks for watching our video. Remember, we really want our videos and page to be a resource for all of your real estate needs. So if you'd like to know more about a specific topic, let us know and we'll make a video about it. And if we pick your question to answer and make a video about it, we'll even send you a $25 gift card as a small thank you. And if you or someone you know is thinking about buying or selling a home, or if you have any questions about mortgages or anything real estate related, or anything South Florida related, please call or email us today. Right. Let us know how we can help you and the people you care about most get sold by the bros. Bye for now. Make it a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.